Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 28th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the 28th? Hmm. What do we have for around the 28th? Keep in mind the timing is fluid, right? The timing is fluid, it really is. Three of Pentacles reversed. Not working well with somebody. Four of Four of Wands reversed. That is a messy situation. Uprooting. Not fun. This isn't really fun. Can't work with somebody. This this isn't working out. There's, there's a lack of respect. A lack of mutual respect. A lack of teamwork. We have somebody here that doesn't work well with others. They're causing problems. Um, there's some sort of deception here as well. We got the Seven of Swords on the bottom. Um, this is a very smug, cocky individual with a look on their face. Uh... Ha, 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 ha. I can do whatever I want, and there's not one thing you can do about it. That's what we got right here, okay? Um, so we got somebody here that is disrespectful. They're disrespectful. They, they don't listen. They won't listen. They think they know it all, um, causing problems in the foundation. Could be at home, could be at work, whatever. Uh, we got problems here. Um, very, very smug. May even have a thief. This is deception. This is somebody who is very, very sneaky, very shady. Um, doesn't really want to work. Wants to get the profit, but doesn't want to work for it. It's like a thief, is it, or a scammer, or something like that. It's like uh, lacks respect. We definitely have somebody here that lacks respect for others. A tower reversed. And the devil on the bottom. Oh, yay. So this is like a disaster. Okay, this is like a disaster. Some sort of... We have somebody here that is obsessed. They are infatuated. They are toxic. They are unhealthy. They are driven by greed. Somebody is driven by greed. They are false. They put out a lot of falseness. They Something definitely about a foundation as well. Four of Wands is foundations and so isn't the tower. Um, they have avoided disruption. Somebody has been avoiding something, but they can't avoid it anymore. This is a permanent loss. It is a permanent loss. We have somebody here that is driven by greed, addictions, obsessions. This is some sort of obsession. Somebody is obsessed. Sorry. Um, driven, driven by Satan, right? The devil is Satan. This is like, it's not good. This is the devil doesn't bring good things. Only instant gratification. The tower is false impressions. Avoided, avoided disruption up until now. There's going to be upheaval in this foundation okay there's going to be upheaval we have somebody here that is very disrespectful they do things falsely okay there's a lot of falseness here it's very messy this is and there's going to be a mess this is a very this is cleaning up a huge mess okay get ready get prepared for some sort of major disaster Interesting, because I said disaster with the devil, and now I was just looking at the. I was thinking about the the tower. That is a disaster. This is a disaster of some sort. Cleaning up the mess. Moving. Somebody could be uprooting, moving home. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is held back by fear, mental turmoil, reevaluating. There is some sort of reevaluation here. We have somebody here that is 
extremely frustrated, fed up, tired, can't do this anymore. This is like a near death experience. Um, Eight of Swords, trapped, held back, uh, can escape, but has been choosing not to escape, has been uh, pretending with the Four of Wands reverse, pretending that they are happy. A lot of falseness here. Somebody has been restricting themselves or chose, allowed somebody to restrict them. But there is some sort of reevaluation going on because of the disrespect. We have some, there's some sort of mental turmoil. Somebody needs to step outside of their comfort zone. They need to walk away, but they've chosen not to. They've chosen to pretend. This is, there's a lot of falseness here. They've been try, chosen, chosen to pretend they're happy. Eight of Swords, right behind it is the Four of Wands reversed, okay? They've been pretending that they are happy. Um, and they are definitely reevaluating because there's probably a third party here, you know, with the Three of Pentacles. There's also miscommunication, there's lack of compromise, there's control issues. We have somebody that has allowed themselves to be controlled. There's some health problems here. Somebody's health is being affected. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. This one has the cover on the cup. So the cover is on the cup. It's not free flowing. There's, there's a, there's, the love isn't flowing freely, put it that way. Um, six of Cups reversed on the bottom. Nothing stays the same. Nothing stays the same. Everything changes. Somebody packing up, leaving home. Could be children leaving home. There's been a robbing of innocence. Clinging to the past, emotional, a very emotional. Somebody has been ignoring their intuition. They haven't been receiving the love that they deserve or that they need. They have, or they haven't been able to express their feelings. They haven't been expressing their feelings. Could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's a need to express feelings. There's a need to open up the heart. To let the love out, you know, definitely. I mean, what if there's there's a, a ace of cups? You think about that. There's no cover on the cup because the love is free flowing. There's a cover on. There's no love coming out of this. Emotions, six of cups reverse. That is nothing stays the same. Leaving the past behind. Nothing stays the same. Why restrict yourself to an unhappy commitment? There's somebody that has been restricting themselves to an unhappy foundation, an unhappy commitment. Maybe there's fear because the Eight of Swords is fear and the Four of Wands reversed is uprooting. So there's fear of moving, fear of uprooting. But they're in a false sense of security now. Things are going to come crashing down. It's unavoidable. This is a major disruption. It's a permanent loss. Hermit reverse, reconnect. It's about reconnecting. Uh, somebody has been hiding something. I, I clarified the tower. That's something coming to light. Okay, the light being shed. Light, something is definitely coming to light. The walls are coming down. The truth is going to come out of some. Something has been hidden, definitely, and it's about to come out. The light is going to be shed. This could just be a light bulb moment. There had, this is like coming out, socializing, reconnecting. Somebody has been in some sort of situation where there has been a midlife crisis. They may have chosen to stay in the false sense of security because they didn't want to be alone. They were afraid of being alone. This could also be the end of loneliness. If somebody has been alone, the tower could be an extreme shock 
Somebody could be deepening a bond with somebody after they have closed their heart off. They were restricting themselves because of fear. They haven't wanted to really work with anybody now and you know now there's an opportunity. I do feel like this is letting go. This is like breaking free from fear in the tower or the devil is needing to break free. So there is somebody that needs to break free from their fear because the ego is fear. There's ego as well here. Reevaluate. Open up. Come out of a hiding. It's time to socialize. It's time to reconnect. It's time to build a new foundation. There's an opportunity definitely to, be, to build a new foundation. But we have somebody here that is closing themselves off emotionally. Restricting themselves because of fear. The lovers reversed is a detachment. Somebody is detaching themselves. They're detached from a partnership. This could be a breakup. It could be a separation with the lovers reversed. There could be an upcoming separation or a detachment. This isn't like there's a lack of uh, reciprocation here. There's a choice. Lovers is a choice. Somebody has to make a, a big choice. And it feels like they're choosing not to connect when they when they could connect. They could be detaching from a partner that maybe that's the light bulb moment. It's a shock. It's a surprise. There is some sort of light. Somebody may be in a contract that they are not compatible with. They're not happy with that contract. There's no uh, love there. There's no connection. There's... A lack of attraction you know and maybe they have been staying put because it's safe because there's a roof over their head or something like that but they don't work well with this person whoever this person is that they're working with is closed off emotionally there's no free flow in love there's really no free flow in love okay the Empress reversed on the bottom the Empress reversed is somebody that does not love with all their heart okay I know who she is and in the in the reverse the Empress reversed is closed off emotionally she's she's mean-spirited self-absorbed selfish um, does not love does not do everything with love may have affairs um, the Empress reversed may be uh, very clingy, needy, uh, high maintenance, needs a lot of attention, can't take care of herself, doesn't really take care of the home, doesn't take care of the children, doesn't take care of the family, just doesn't, only person she takes care of is herself. Greedy. We definitely have somebody here that is greedy. We determined that from the very beginning. Greedy and selfish. Driven by greed. Doesn't work well with others. Uprooting. Doesn't really get along with the family either. With the four of wands reversed. Doesn't really fit in. causing 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 dis disruption there is some 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 major disruption here but this is a light bulb moment seeing the light somebody is seeing the light i feel like they're getting some sort of uh let me just get one more card awakening of some sort new consciousness 10 of cups reversed that is a dying dream. This is relationship problems. We have somebody here that may be breaking up. This is like a breakup. It's like we're separating. It's a split. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be alone than in a false sense of security where there's so many lies and so much deception and we can't work together. You know, you're unwilling to compromise and you're such a bitch. Sorry. I'm just honest. Um... Anyhow, um, this is uprooting. <clears throat> he 
Eight of Pentacles reverse, right next to the Queen of Cups. Not, not. We have somebody here that's not putting in much effort. They're not trying very hard. It's not working out. It's not working out. There's loneliness due to disillusionment. Somebody's in a relationship where they're lonely. It's false. The whole fucking thing is false. See, now I'm getting upset. Anyhow, it's false, okay? The whole thing is false, but they're in it because uh, it's a foundation. It's some place to live. It's some place to stay. It looks good on the outside, but even though it's, it's terrible on the inside, things are about to crash. Things are going to crash really, really fast. It's going to crumble. Um, something isn't working out. We have somebody here that is not not giving their love freely. They are not. They are restricting themselves. They're not giving it. They're choosing not to give it because they really don't want to be in the relationship, but they don't want to be alone, so they're staying in the relationship. But they're not giving the love because, you know, they're not in love. They're not in love. Okay, this relationship is not compatible. It's not meant to be, but... The ego, the pride, and the greed is getting in the way. This is a toxic bond that needs to be broke, but somebody has to replace their fear with faith and step outside of their comfort zone. They have to stop restricting themselves. They, you know, why work with somebody that's not emotionally available, who's not giving love freely, who is mean-spirited and self-absorbed? I mean, to hell with that shit. Anyhow, um, Ten of Cups is a relationship, could problems, okay, it's relationship problems, faults right next to the tower, it's clarifying the tower reversed, it's a false relationship, it's a false foundation, there's no happiness here, there's a need to retreat, there's a need to go within, anyway, where I was at a minute ago was loneliness, somebody is in a relationship where they're lonely, you might as well be alone, I mean, if, you've got, if you're staying with somebody just because of... You know, what's, what's everything, everybody else going to say, then that's your own um, weakness. Okay, it's weakness. Um, there's going to be a major disruption on the home front where somebody may retreat. They may retreat. They may decide to go. You may, they may decide. This could definitely be a breakup, a separation. We have somebody here that has been held back by fear. Um, it's not working out. Devil reversed, breaking free, breaking free from a relationship. Knight of Cups reversed. This isn't love. It's not love. I know that it's not. Um, the devil reversed is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation that is based on lust, greed, materialism. That's it. Okay, that's it. We have somebody here that is severing ties. They're, they're, they are. They are. Um, they may be choosing to walk away. This is definitely a disaster of some sort. This may have to do, it has to do with a foundation, whether it's work or home. Somebody is leaving suddenly with the tower card. That's a sudden situation. It happens all of a sudden. Although there's been a reevaluation and somebody has been thinking about it for quite some time. I feel like there's going to be a major, maybe there's an explosion or something like that that forces a change. That's forced change. People are going to say, oh, it's unavoid it's avoidable because it's reversed. Oh, no, it's not. It's been avoidable up until now. It's not avoidable. You can't avoid it. The card is here. Okay. But we could pretend that it's avoidable because it's just pretending here. And that would be the false sense of security. That would be the false foundation that people are selling. It's not avoidable. The tower card is here. We can pretend it's avoidable though, right? And stay in that falseness. Or we can stand our ground and deal with the opposition, deal with the challenge. 
There's gonna be a fight that is unavoidable because there's a false sense of security here. We have a relationship that is not on the same page. There's no compatibility. There's too many restrictions. There's too much confinement. There's not a lot of happiness. It's a very messy situation. It's not fun anymore. Somebody is not giving their love very freely. They are closed off emotionally, and that's why it's not working out. This person may have a third party that they are engaging with. That could be part of the reason why it's not working out. There's hiding something with the hermit reverse in the tower. Somebody is hiding something. Maybe that's why it's not working out. Behind the Queen of Cups is the Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's not working. It's not working out. There's a need to uh, deal with the opposition. There's probably going to be a fight. There's probably competition around as well. It's time to move on from a bad choice. It's time to be honest. There's some sort of uh, a need to be honest, a need to release, a need to accept that something is over. But we have somebody here that's not being very honest. Making a poor judgment call. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. They're not very awakened. They, they aren't. We have somebody here that isn't very awakened, so they're staying put in a situation that is safe, that isn't bringing them any love and happiness. When it's time to move on from that bad choice, it's time to sever ties. So I do believe that severing ties is in the future. Something isn't working out. There's going to be some sort of major disturbance that comes very, very suddenly that Help somebody to see the light, okay? That hermit reverse is seeing the light, seeing it. Somebody's going to be building a new foundation. Could be by themselves. They could be moving in with themselves, by themselves. There also could be the end of loneliness here. We could, I mean, there could be. I don't think so, though. reverse next to the hermit reverse that is uh, coming out of isolation seeing the light this is a permanent loss it is a permanent loss with a tower reverse this we have an unstable foundation that is that is crumbling it is really really re next to the four of wands reverse it's very unstable it's it's things somebody could be getting thrown out It could be at work, it could be at home, but whatever it is, temperance, change, exchange. This is an exchange. Everything happens for a purpose. It happens for a reason. This is also a loss, okay? It's an unplanned loss. So temperance is an exchange. Everything happens for a reason. Um, exchanging something lesser for something better. Accept and allow that something is over. Temperance comes after the death card, so that is an ending. We have an ending here. Somebody has learned some sort of lesson. They have evolved. This is part of evolution. We have a massive change. This is, this is, uh, it's time. It's time. It's time to heal. It's time to accept that something is over. Blending to create harmony. We definitely have a change. Something is, is ending or it has ended so that you can receive something better. Where you don't have to do all the work where it's not toxic. Somebody may be deepening a bond with somebody new that is better suited for them. They probably pushed somebody away. I feel like we have somebody here that pushed somebody away.
because of a false contract that they were in. There could be some sort of renewal or reunion here. Breaking free from a false sense of security to get something better. And that's what I got. Good luck.